Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a quick video to help those that have trouble understanding how to use Prune Planner. This will go over just the basics to get everything set up so you have your base, your return on investment, and your production lines. Hopefully that's enough to help you with everything you need. So when you first enter Prune Planner, you're going to have to sign in. It does not use your game credentials. And then you'll end up on the management screen here. For you, it'll be completely blank. Here you can see all the different bases I have, my different empires, and my empire management, and my CXs. So to start, we're going to be doing a base for Katoa, which is in the Benton area and uses the CI1 exchange. So first, we're going to create an empire. You should already have one created by default, I believe. So we're just going to set to Bend. And for the faction, we'll set it to Benton. For the permits, all this you can leave default. It'll be what you start the game with. You can change it later. So now you see here, Benton has been added. And over here, it's automatically been added that I can change it to the different planets. So now we're going to go up here to the CX management. I'm going to do the same thing. Now this is important. Now that it's been created, we want to go inside of it. And here, this is all the different CX details. Now for your Empire CX, you want to leave it at both because this will calculate both buying and selling. And then you want to go here and you want to find the one you use. Now Benton is CI1, so we're going to set that to the average and we're going to add it. Now that's added, we're going to make sure we save it. Now, if we go back out to management, whenever we select the category, it'll add to the planet. Now, let's go find our planet. So the planet search here, you can select the different materials that are going to be on the planet. You can select the COGC program. You can also look for specific things on the planet if you want to only find fertile worlds. You can also select how far it will be for a certain system or CX if you want to keep it within a certain range. And then here is all the different planetary modifiers. So here you can see the different things it's going to need you to use every time you build a building on those planets. So let's look for Katoa. So here we have it. You can see the materials it has and these little numbers here, which might be hard to see, but for H2O it has 14.7, oxygen 16.8, so on. That shows the default extraction rates of what the buildings are going to produce. And here you can see the infrastructure that's currently on planet and the faction. And here is what you'll need to build any building. By default, every normal fully green world will only require MGC. So we're going to add a plan. So here we're going to select the Empire as Ben, so it sets it to it. And we're just going to name it Test World for this example. So now that we're actually in here, you can select your different buildings to place down. So I'm going to find a refinery and place it down. Uh, let's see, there's a refinery and then click add building. So now we have the refinery down. I can add an order. So by default it'll do the first one in the list and then after that you can select each one. Now here you'll see the profit for day and the ROI is NA. That's because we haven't fully finished setting it up. So I'm going to save this plan for now. So we have it saved. I'm going to go back out to management. So here we can see on the left we have test world now it's listed. And then here in the center we want to find test world and then we want to go across and make sure it's set to Benton. And then we want to go down here to the Empire and Exchange and make sure that Benton is set to the Ben Empire. So now that that's saved, when we go back into Test Planet, and we let load here. Oh wait, hold on, that's... There we go. Another important thing is uh, always make sure you have your HAB set up for the... Uh, the pioneers are also act as if you're again no production. So now we can see here our return per day, the ROI of each production line, 
and on the right here it'll show our in and outs for the day. So here we can see that daily we would use 2.4 drinking water, 0.30 OVE, and 0.2.4 uh, rations, as well as the materials we'd use in our production, and then what we get out of it. I'm going to hit save, and that's basically everything you need to know. You can play around with adding uh, your different HABs, your different buildings, all that. Here for your luxuries, it will be how it's listed. So Lux 1 is going to be your POW or PWO, and Lux 2 is going to be your coffee. So here you can compare it to see if it's going to get you more money per day or if it's going to get you less. Most times it will be more, but again, it depends on the planet. Here on the left, the Corporation HQ, those can't be placed on any starter worlds. So most times, you're going to leave that unchecked. Here, it should auto set it to the COGC that it's running, but if not, you can set it to the one that it has. And then that'll help calculate it. So if we swap it here to fuel refining you'll see that the time has gone down and it's added that bonus to your efficiency. As well as it'll highlight the experts and it'll show you roughly the time it'll take to gain each one. So here if we add our five experts, you can see it's now added the bonus to the production and the time has gone down even further. So now if we hit save, we go out back out to plant management, and that's basically it. That's everything you need to know for how to set up your base simply. Eventually you can integrate it so that each base will calculate the inputs coming from other bases, but for the most part, that's all you need to know at the moment. So thank you for watching, hopefully this helps, and if you have any other further questions, please leave them down in the comments and I'll try and answer them or make another video about it. Thank you very much, and have a good day.